Hi, thanks for watching. My name is Jared. If you don't know me, I am the pastor here at Bismarck Community Church. And this fall, we are going to launch something new, and I, I need you to uh, be aware of it and the reasons why and how it's going to happen. So here's what's happening. We're going to go to two services starting on September 14th. Some of you who have been around Bismarck Community Church for many years might think, why are we doing this? At one point in the past, we had three services, and we added this new sanctuary, the FLC, about 14 years ago, and we've got everyone together, and now we're not filling that room up. Why would we want to add two services? That's a great question. It's a valid question, and it's one that deserves to be answered. Here's why we're going to do it. Two reasons. Both relate to opportunity. First of all, I've talked to a lot of people who say, well, we'd come to church if it was earlier, or we'd come to church if it was later. And I realize there are people in our community, right around our church, who just, for one reason or another, can't quite make it at 10 o'clock. And so we want to give those people the opportunity to come a little earlier, 9.15, or a little later, at 11. So that way, no matter who you are, you can get to church. You have a few more options anyway. Maybe in the future we'll even grow and add more. Basically, it comes down to that. Opportunity to come and be a part of church. You get one more. 9.15 or 11. It's up to you. The other reason we want to do that is because we want to encourage more people to serve, volunteer. At Bismarck Community Church, we have an incredible group of people that do so much. And because of that, it sometimes is harder for other people to find opportunities to serve right here on a Sunday morning even. And so we want to say, hey, if you want to serve, terrific. Serve at one service and then allow someone else the opportunity to serve at another service. Come and enjoy the worship service and don't feel the pressure to do something. Just come and be a part of it. Participate with us as we worship without feeling the need to have a duty, whether you're a greeter, running sound, or, or working in the kids' church area. You can come and be a part of the worship service and then later stay and volunteer or the opposite. So we want to increase opportunities for service in church, and we want to increase opportunities for attendance in church. That's why we're doing it. Now, as for the how, some of you, your parents are like, well, when do I send my kids to kids' church? How is this going to work? Here's what we're going to do. You will be able to come at 9 o'clock, drop your kids off, and then go to worship service. Now, that first service, 9 o'clock, begins at 9.15. Kids' church will start right then when the service starts, 9.15. There won't be a dismissal during the service. You can take your kids. This is kids from pre-K, preschool, three years old, all the way up to kindergarten. Bring them, take them, go to the service. They are, of course, also welcome to join you. There's, We're not going to tell you you can't have your kids in church. We love it. If you want to have your kids with you, that's terrific. Have them. But there's also the opportunity for kids' church. Now, at 11 o'clock, we will have the same thing. Kids' church will begin 11 o'clock, same time the worship service begins. And then there will also be classes for first through fifth graders. So if you have a second or third grader and you want them to join you in a worship service and you want to send them to class, that's wonderful. We want that. We want to give the kids every opportunity they have to learn to be a part of the church body because they are and then also to grow with their peers. And so what we'd encourage you to think about doing is to come. Come at 9.15. Bring your kids with you. Come sit through worship. Enjoy worship together. Stay, have coffee and donuts between the services. Send your kids to their classes at 11, and stay and volunteer in another area of the church, whether you might be greeting during the second service, sound, uh, visual, you might volunteer in the kids' church, you may do a number of other things. So look for those volunteer opportunities. Think about how your family needs to structure that. Please come be a part of, of a worship service and also be a part of serving in a worship service. Thanks for your time and your understanding. As with anything, always 
please let me know if you have any questions.